Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn off private browsing mode on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. So private browsing mode lets you browse any kind of websites, go to websites, and it doesn't collect your data. It doesn't show up in your history. So if you really wanna kind of keep wherever you're gonna go secret, private browsing mode is great. However, if you wanna end your private browsing mode, I'll walk you through those steps now. So let's open up Safari here. And if you're on private browsing mode, the really the main way that you know that you're on private browsing is you can see the at the very bottom where it says google.com, it's in like a dark color with a white lettering. That means you're in private browsing mode. So it won't save any of your data, won't save any of your history, but if you wanna get out of that, what you do is you tap on the kind of two squares at the bottom right here, if you see those, and then you'll see it comes up with, um, it makes a kind of a smaller image of the website you were on. And at the very bottom center, it says private. The first thing that I want you to do though, is you should probably close that private browsing window if you don't want people to see what you're on. So to close it, you can press the little X at the top right or just swipe to the left. So you can see that I've closed that, I have no tabs in my private browsing mode. However, at the very bottom, if you see here, I can tap on private and it says I'm on private, there's a little check mark next to private. However, if you wanna get off of private mode, you just say start page. So we'll go to this start page. We'll, again, we'll just go to Google. Um, google.com and you can see it's the exact same screen however at the bottom it's a white background with a dark or black google.com um, text so that tells you that you're off of private browsing mode um, and you can you know browse however you want and it'll save your data it'll save your history and your cache and all that stuff hope this helps let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe thanks